All right, so we are trying out this problem today. Minimum swaps to make strings equal. You're given two strings, S1 and S2, of equal length consisting of letters X and Y only. The task is to make these two strings equal to each other. You can swap any two characters that belong to different strings, which means swap S1, any index at S1 with any index at of S2. Return the minimum number of swaps required to make S1 and S2 equal or return minus 1 if it is impossible to do so. Let's look at the examples. First example is XX and 5Y. Okay. So XX, YY. We want to make these strings equal. X and Y are not equal. So it's swapping this Y with this X and you do that swap. You get YX and here you got y, x, and then they become equal. Interesting. So for x, x, y, y, we needed one swap. All right. Now, other example is x, y, y, x. Okay, so x, y, comma y x so if you look at this x y y x they're not equal what can we do uh opposite diagonal swaps will just teach you the same thing so first thing that's being done is is swap uh same position so make it y y x x right so that it becomes y y x x and then do another swap then it's sort of similar to this then you do swapping of this so this x y uh, so you go x y x y so basically, the short answer is it required two swaps. So x y comma y x. If this was the input, you needed two swaps. Um, third is x x comma x y, x x and x y. Well, this x and x are already equal, so just cancel them out. And x and y. How many swaps ever you do, you can't reach. So you cannot reach it. Okay. Now, so there are two questions that comes to mind, right? One is, whether it is possible to make the strings equal. And second question is, how many subs are needed? Right, these are the two questions. So first thing, whether it is possible to make the strings equal. So would counting the number of X and number of Y in each string help in any way? One thing that we can look at is, is we can ignore uh, the characters which are already equal at specific indexes. So for example, XXX and then XY and then XXX, YX. We don't really care about uh, this part of the string, right? So the characters which at the same result which are already equal you can just completely ignore those parts of the strings and then the remaining part would be then at the same index it would be either xx sorry xy or yx and now so when i say xy it's this xy right x and y vertically or yx now if the number of so so basically there will be uh, some count of x, y, and there will be some count of y, x. Now, uh, when is it possible? Well, one thing that we have seen is, is uh, maybe both of them have to be equal. So count of x, y should be e1. Uh, count of y, x should be e1. What we have seen here, like if you look at just uh, uh, this string x y y x you see here uh, count of x y is one and count of y x is one but overall uh, they are not so overall they are not right so it should be count of x y and count of y x either should they should both be odd or they should both be even if they're both even then uh, just like uh, x y and if you just get another x y then we already saw 
from this example that this you can solve. So if, if uh, as many of two of x y comes, they will get solved. Similarly, two of y x will get solved. But if uh, if there is x y and y x, that can also get solved. Um, but if there is something like uh, x x y and then y y x, this is not going to be solved because so number of x y is to number of y x is one, right? So so I think the theoretical is not this is correct. Uh, either you do count of x y plus y x uh, should be e one, or you can say it can also roughly translate to either both x y or y x y and y x are odd or even right uh, that's the theory now second thing is to find how many swaps are needed again i think there are only two cases one is uh, one is this case and the other is this case right so and we know that in this case, just one swap works, right? Uh, this, but in this case, we need two swaps. So first, we'll try to do all the one swap, and then, if if number of x, y, and y x are odd, then there will be uh, one, two extra swaps, right? That's the only thing. So, so here's the thing. So you go. Uh, if x y and y x are even then you need uh, x y plus y x uh, um, so you, you want pairs right so buy two swaps that's all if x y and y x are both odd then you need well let's first define how many pairs are there so pairs would again be x y plus y x now let's say one and one right one plus one so <clears throat> okay individually so x y by two plus uh, y x by two now again here also we could do same because they are even they will come out to same so for similarity this one this plus this swaps the even ones and if because they were both odd one of those odd two things will again make another one plus two and if are one odd, one even, then not possible, right? That's a that's a simple solution. So let's try and do that. So uh, equals to zero is less than length plus length has to be equal as well so uh, let's do that as well if s1 dot length is not equals to s2 dot length we don't care and now here so oops So x, y is 0, y, x is also 0. So if caret i is not equal to to dot caret i, generally we are interested. And then here, if s1 dot caret i is equals to equals to x, then you go so I press plus as it has to be yx right so you go here now if xy percentile 2 is equals to equals to yx percentile 2 that will show both are even and odd right uh, if that's not the case you return minus one else you return x y by two plus y x by two plus okay so now 
depending upon u and also x y percentile to if it's ordered zero otherwise it's e1 it will be uh one uh times two right and for that one pair there will be another two so yeah so that's the thing now uh run example test cases and example test cases works submit and it works yes yeah, so it was uh, a bit tricky basically it's just math here to figure out that only two combinations just xx uh, yy and xy yx this one swap is needed and this two swaps is needed just finding the count of just these and and then solving it just mathematically all right